Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the abstraction radical mechanism step. Uh, abstraction is a step in which a radical removes an atom from another species. Oh, and I misspelled from for form from thing. Uh, and so let's take a look at what that might look like. You know, let's do a generic uh, example. Let's see. We need we need something with a sigma bond and H. And let's make let's make this R because we want this to be a hydrocarbon. And I'll make this X like it's a halogen or something. And so the abstraction step is one in which uh, this halogen radical or whatever this other radical is bumps into the organic molecule and runs off with one of its atoms uh, with uh, the hydrogen being relatively likely. And we leave behind the organic radical. Uh, so there we go. What these arrows look like, let's get my radical arrow. So we form a new sigma bond between the halogen radical and our hydrogen here. And part of that sigma bond is coming from the carbon hydrogen bond in our hydrocarbon. And then the other electron in the carbon hydrogen bond is going to become the unpaired electron over on the uh, carbon radical here. Uh, this is actually an example of a hydrogen abstraction. Ooh, what is up with all this bold and italics? And there we go. This is an example of a hydrogen abstraction. Um, and in some sources, in some textbooks, you might see hydrogen abstractions treated as a different kind of thing than a halogen abstraction. Uh, which is the abstraction of a halogen atom, but the mechanism arrows are exactly the same. It's worth noting that this is not a proton transfer. We are not transferring a proton in each plus ion. We are transferring a hydrogen atom or a hydrogen, you know, so not a proton transfer. So let's look at a... Uh, um, Let's look at a more specific example of this hydrogen abstraction, uh, which is part of the mechanism of the radical halogenation of methane. So here we have a chlorine radical, and the carbon hydrogen bond in methane is going to break. <clears throat> one electron is going to go with the hydrogen to form a new bond with chlorine, and the other one is going to go. Uh, to the carbon and the methyl group. And so we will form uh, hydrogen chloride and the methyl radical. And if we're going to count radical, as, as I like to do, We have one radical on each side of the equation, each side of the arrow. There is no net change There's no net change in the number of radicals uh, as a consequence of this step. And that makes this a, a common propagation step. Uh, where in propagation is where all the good stuff is happening in a radical mechanism. Usually in propagation steps, there's no net change in the, the number of radicals. Just as uh, an example for a halogen abstraction, now we're, 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 we have something running away with a halogen atom. Um, we'll do another step in the carbon or in the, the halogenation reaction of methane. So we will have uh, chlorine and we will have our methyl radical. And 
I want this chlorine chlorine bond to just be just a little longer. I want my carbon radical to not appear in the middle of my hydrogens. And so what this is gonna look like is uh, the methyl radical would bump into a chlorine molecule and run off with one of the chlorine atoms. Uh, so we draw uh, our fish hook radical arrows, one from the single electron on the methyl radical over to uh, a chlorine, and then one uh, from the carb the chlorine chlorine bond. One electron would go with one chlorine, the other electron would go to form the new uh, carbon chlorine bond in plural methane. And this needs to be a chlorine and it needs to be a radical. And then sort of sneakily here, I've shown all of the key steps for, for radical halogenation. Uh, I'll be showing that whole mechanism in an upcoming video, but you can see how in a propagation step, we're generating the methyl radical up here. That methyl radical reacts with chlorine to produce a chlorine radical, which can go back up here and react with methane uh, and so on. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about the addition step in radical mechanisms. Thanks for watching.